What kind of contacts have you made? Well, very interesting. We just finished the uh, contest for the year, which ran one weekend in uh, August and a second weekend in September. And those, so two days in August, two days in September, I put together a total of uh, 256 contacts and worked 16 different stations. So I worked the same stations multiple times. We belong to a club up in Minneapolis called the Northern Lights VHF Society. And they're the guys that organized how, who was going to be where and how we would uh, contact each other. The best distance that we got was from Vesa near Cannon Falls to Sisseton, South Dakota, about 220 miles uh, on Sunday afternoon. And we also worked from there to South Sioux Center, Iowa, which was almost an identical distance, 222 miles, in Echo November uh, 13, Victor Charlie, KM0T is down there. Uh, the guys that were in Sisseton were from uh, Minneapolis. And I was with uh, uh, four other people at uh, Vesa, and uh, there was six people that were rovers in central Minnesota. They started at Lesur and worked their way south to the Minnesota River down by uh, past Mankato uh, and did an overnight at Redwood Falls and then worked that same route back again. Each time they would move 10 miles we could talk to them again. So that's that's the way the scoring rules work for contests. Sometimes we just get on and uh, we're checking out new sites like this, so I, I might not be during a contest, but I would have a, a schedule with somebody to be listening for me, and we would compare this site and, and today to some other days that we've tried different places. Uh, we have made it from southeast Minnesota down by Lanesboro, actually uh, uh, even further south than that, up to uh, the south edge of Minneapolis. So some of those are uh, well over 100 miles. And uh, to Sisseton, as I say, it was over 200. So uh, those guys, are, you might be interested in the power. This uh, linear amplifier in this one runs uh, about 600 milliwatts at the feed point here. Uh, some of the guys now have uh, two and three watt units and uh, uh, an eight watt unit has become available on the market. You can buy an eight watt linear amplifier for 10 gigahertz, uh, $350. So power is expensive on this band. Uh, the 600 milliwatt uh, I was able to buy for uh, $40. It's a Comcast surplus reworked, retuned to work on uh, 10.368. 100 gigs. This is typical on the horizon over here. This is the direction up towards uh, Minneapolis. We're almost high. In, uh, this, this would work well in that direction because the first things on the horizon are uh, between a mile and two miles away. So I think uh, the launch would be good into the uh, lower uh, troposphere to make the signals go. Here. I've never tried it from this spot, but I, I believe it would work at least in that direction. Okay, Mel. Thanks a lot.